Hi, this is Kim and I am participating in the Sandy's 13 Frights Before Halloween of 2022 and um, there are several other people who are involved with this collaboration and so if you take a look at the description box you will see a list of all the people who are participating so you can go to their channels and see what they are making also. This is Fright number seven and um, I just have a milk can that I got from Hobby Lobby for 90% off. It is kind of dented, but I don't think you'll notice that once I start decorating it. So it had been $14.99, which I would never pay that much. Um, so I basically paid $1.50 for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Bewitching Hour uh, paper and I'm going to wrap it around here. It doesn't go all the way around, so in the back I'm going to have to piece it but by the time I'm done decorating it, you won't know that that happened. Um, I have some ribbon to put across, uh, up at the top here to tie a bow. I have this ribbon too. I'm not sure if I'll put it on the bottom or not, but I have it just in case. Um, I pulled some spiders from the Dollar Tree that are orange. I have some pumpkins. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is on one side it'll be more... Um, Halloween themed and on the other side it will be more fall so I can keep it out um, and I have these two cut apart so I already mounted them on black paper this one will be the Halloween one obviously and um, so for the Hall the fall one I have this it's hard to tell what color it is it's iridescent but it's like black and purple but I thought that might go with this um, card um, I have some flowers here so we'll see if I can incorporate those um, I have some different ephemera so we'll just kind of have to see what I come up with <laughs> so the first thing I have to do though is place this paper now I did put uh, three strips of score tape on there I don't think I need to fully coat it because it should stay on just fine but I am going to kind of roll it just to kind of give it a memory here that it needs to be curling so let's just kind of wrap it around here so it curls um, this is going to be the front well what I'm calling the front and this will be the back and so I'm going to paper piece by putting this in the back like I said you won't know it's there and I'm probably going to use both the front and the back of this can but that's I'm just still going to put it in the back just in case so I'm going to take off the backing of this piece and I want to make sure I get it lined up just right. Okay. I think I'm going to go more towards the top because I have ribbon. Give that a good press. Like I said, this is dented, so. All right. That's staying on real well. So now I need to start with putting this in the center so it evenly goes around. Let's see how it looks in the back. Yeah, you'll be able to tell, but we'll cover it up. So now. I'm, I don't want to get this cockeyed. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I'll go ahead and take the backing off. This is the one inch. The can, that, uh, the part that I'm wrapping is four, uh, four and a half inches long right here, I think. Oh, come on. Okay. So let me get that out of the way. All right, the moment of truth. Don't move, don't move, okay. So I'm going to uh, It doesn't meet exactly in the same spot as the other one, the other piece. Shoot. Ooh. I didn't smooth it enough. Where am I going? I might have to put 
uh, that ribbon on the bottom because I did not get it even. I do have my glue gun going, getting ready. So there, it's already cuter. So I'm thinking I may need this. I'm gonna put it at the top and the bottom. Mm. I wonder if I just have purple. Let me see if I just have purple. So this is purple with orange in the center and I have enough and it's thinner so I think that's better. So I'm going to put a light, put a little bit of glue and I'll lay it down. Then I'll put a little bit of glue and I'll lay it down. I think my glue gun's ready. We'll see. A second to dry. I don't want to put too much on at once. far so good. It's coming out pretty even. This glue gun can give me fits sometimes. This is one of those times it won't come out. I want a steady, like a, when I push it, I want it to come in a long stream and it's not doing it sometimes. No, why is it doing that? There we go. Now I have too much, probably. Good thing it's in the back. Alright, I'm going to come over with this side. So it's more towards the back. You can fast forward this if you don't want to see me gluing. Mm -hmm. A little excess glue down here. All right, so I'm gonna cut one end. I wasted a lot because I should have. Oh well. All right. Give that a second and then I will trim that. So there's what we have so far. So next, I'm going to start looking at how I want to arrange. It's okay if this comes up a little bit. And normally I do things in threes, but I'm thinking, you know what, I have a broom that I could put on here too. And then I could put a spider. Let's see what that looks like. So if I glue this like so, and then have this here, Could 
put the spider there and then let me get my broom and see what that looks like okay I found my last broom I hope I can find more of these at Dollar Tree I saw the bigger ones but not the smaller ones and I like the smaller ones better all right let me find the center again and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of my cut apart okay and now I'm going to place one flower here so let me stand it up I kind of need to stand it up to see do I want it behind the card hmm I think I'm going to have to glue it right on the corner of the cut apart. I'd rather it be connected to the can, but that's not going to work. Okay, and then I can tuck this one behind here. Put this down and then I think I'll put the spider over it. Is that too much? Eh, that's fine. Okay, I'll just put some glue on this part. I'm looking at this straight on. It's probably hard to see in the light. I think it needs to go that way because the card is going that way. All right, so that's what I'll do. And I hope this stays on. There's not a whole lot of spots to glue it because it's not, we'll have to, have to do it on the edges. And I don't know if that's gonna stay. So I see a place here where the foot is touching the card. I need a glue stick. All right. Now the other side is going to be harder to do just because it, well, I can't lay it down flat like this. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and tie the bow so I can kind of get an idea of what it looks like to see if I need to add anything else. Stand it up right now. You probably don't see it very well. Adjust it a little bit. a lot. I'm not a good bow maker at all. Uh, not at all. Let's see. Okay, 
just fast forward this part, people. And it's going to take me a while. All right, I'm going to leave it like that for right now. So there's one side. I'm going to end up putting some glue right here and right here so that it kind of stays up, I think. Or maybe I'll put glue on the feet. Okay, now this part's going to be a little bit harder for you to see. So maybe now that you know how I'm doing it and just gluing it in layers, I think I'll do the other side off camera because you won't see it anyway. And then I'll come back on and show you what it looks like. All right, here is the finished milk can. So I had to add some things to fill in some empty spots. <laughs> so I had some of that um, fan, oh, what is it called? Um, fun fiber, fiber, fun, fun fiber, something fiber, I don't know. Um, and I had to add some flowers here and there. I added a little bow right there. I tucked in another uh, piece of ephemera. So that's the Halloween side. And then the other side's a little bit more classy. Um, I'm going to have to put something. I have that decorative lace uh, applique here, some flowers. But I think it needs something right here, maybe here. I might need to get a piece of metal um, and put it right here on the corner. I think that's what I need to do. So anyway, that is the um, fall side. If you have questions or if you uh, want to make a comment down below, please do. Um, I have, this was number seven and we're going to 13. So uh, six more to go. <laughs> All right. Thanks everybody.